your paper is now ready for publication. The next steps are to start to separate out your text from your figures and from any tables you might have in your document. This might sound a strange thing to do, but the actual publication system requires you to separate out several parts of the text so that you have the right things to actually send uh, for publication. Partly has to do with peer refereeing and partly to do with the design of the journal and how uh, figures and tables are actually handled. What we need to do is to actually have some way to um, have the journal understand how we want to put our figures in place and to do that we need to make sure that our pages have some form of link to the figures or tables. Here at the end of a sentence I've got C figure 1 so they'll know when it comes to placing figure 1 we want to be fairly near that part of the text. Next I need to delete the figure from my main text and select the caption, cut that and place it in a new document. So go file, new blank document and here I'm going to have a list of captions. So first of all that's figure one. I go back to my main document Doing the same with my second figure, deleting it, selecting the caption, and I've got one more to go. Do make sure you actually check to make sure you've got some form of link to your figures before you delete them each time. Now I'll save that file. File, save. And I've actually got my folder here for the actual document and here it says uh, fol another folder called final paper. And what I'm going to do here is actually on the figures I'm going to label this document figure captions and save that document. The only thing you're missing here now is these these actual figures were taken from another publication so I need to go to my main document and look for the references and find the reference that is related to those diagrams is here. I'm just going to copy that. So once I'm back to my figure captions, I'm going to insert this in into each of these. So go literally insert footnote, end notes, end document. Make sure the number format's right. Insert and there. And just so you all know. I'm going to put a 1 in there. I'd make it superscript. You can actually make a superscript in Word. And similarly here. And then save that file. Now I need to make sure my table is also separate first thing I need to make sure is they've actually, actually cross-referenced to table. Yep, they've got table 1 there. So I can go down now to my table. This time I'm going to cut everything out from there. And then go File, New Blank Document. I'm going to paste in my table. going to move the caption just to underneath the table rather than on top. I 
that's my table so we go file save and this time I'm going to call it table 1 and put it into a folder for tables it's important you actually have separate files for each table in your documentation so now going back to the main document we have a document which doesn't have any figures or tables the next thing to remove is to remove the your name and details the reason for removing these uh, is because this whole area of title and name is dealt with separately because what we want to do is be able to peer review uh, your paper so I'm going to cut this go file new blank document and save that file save and here here's one as title and author I'm going to save that in my main area of final paper I'm going to close that one down so now I have the paper uh, it looks a bit odd because at the end of the day at the very top there it has nothing at all this seems peculiar but it is how we need to actually have the final version without your title and what I'll do now is rather than save over my final version I'm going to do a save as go file save as and here going to just text with no author so when I come to actually look for the document I know which one I need for loading up onto the um, general visual communication in medicine uh, online system which is called scholar one right that may seem a bit peculiar but it is necessary to split these elements up into figures tables title with your name on it and text without any figures or tables and also no author on top.